Bitcoin whales been stacking a hundred Bitcoin a day. They call him Mr. 100. Guess what? We just figured out who he is. Let's dive into this. So the infamous Mr. 100, right, who uh, back in March was one of the 14th largest Bitcoin hodlers in the world. And there's so much speculation around who it might be, right? We saw lots of stuff. Is it Elon? Is it Michael Dell? Is it possibly some Middle East sovereign fund or even a country like South Korea, right? Everybody, everybody was speculating who could Mr. 100 be, right? But it, it's definitely, it's definitely a hodler. It's definitely a stacker. It's somebody that recognizes, right? Recognizes the uh, the qualities and the virtues of Bitcoin. Well, fellow Bitcoiner and pleb, Cena 21st Capital, who I definitely suggest everybody follow. He does incredible analysis of the Bitcoin space, specifically focusing on inflows and outflows of the ETFs, if that's what you care about, right? Because some people, they always want to know which institutions are buying the corn and which ones are selling the corn. Anyways, Cena debunked who Mr. 100 is, and we're going to dive right into it. Here's the tweet. This whole Mr. 100 thing is going too far. This is an upbit exchange address, buying on behalf of clients, not a diamond hands whale. They execute the sells on other addresses so you could only see buys here. Their clients dumped two weeks ago and are now reaccumulating. And of course, in the spirit of Bitcoiners, right? Because Bitcoiners can't help it, but you know, we're, all we got to do is just call each other out, um, you know, and and uh, essentially search for truth, right? So. Fellow Bitcoiner, Sani XP, who I also suggest everybody follow. If you're not following Sani XP, then are you even are you even monitoring the blockchain? Are you? Um, the reason why I say that is because nobody monitors the, the, the blockchain. Nobody does chainalysis like Sani XP. And I, I am not a cheerleader for chainalysis, but what I do appreciate is that Sani is a fellow pleb and Bitcoiner. And what he actually does is he debunks a lot of these very fluffy tweets from influencers that claim that some whale is buying big amounts or, you know, somebody else is moving huge quantities of Bitcoin from one place to another. And he de he does a great job of debunking all of that, which is why I'm saying you should follow his account. Anyways, he came back and he provided the following response to Cena that everything was true except the last part. They didn't dump. They sent them to their other upbit addresses, which are worth more than $110,000, but Arkham doesn't label them, right? And they're talking about Arkham Intelligence, which is uh, Chainalysis, uh, uh, one of the Chainalysis companies. So there you have it, folks. Mr. 100, not Elon, not Michael Dell, not some big influencer that you wanted it to be. It's just an exchange buying corn for their clients. So that's it for today. That's all I wanted to talk about. I will catch you all tomorrow.